Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's upload is going to be a video, <clears throat> or an episode, whatever you want to call it, about uh, the an upcoming or ongoing pattern that is very interesting. <clears throat> and it's going to be occurring, uh, it already has been occurring for the past two days, and it's going to continue occurring for the next couple of days. It's basically a giant heat wave, a giant ridge in the south, that it will be expanding and producing a lot of hot air for the southern states and for the southeast and for the west. And this will make this ring of fire pattern, which is, in my opinion, a very interesting feature uh, that the Weather Channel has talked about, and I will be talking a little bit on this channel. So, consider uh, subscribing to this channel, consider liking the video uh, if you like anything about this channel. If, you, you know, if you're not subscribed, I really recommend subscribing. It's, I mean, it's free, and it supports this channel. You'll see more videos about this, you'll see more, less, uh, this channel's about uh, not producing agenda filled weather it's just giving the hard facts kind of like a model summary channel so let's dive right into this right now we're looking at the gfs uh, uh the monday 12 z august 12th run and you can see that we have this uh as of now there is uh, not much going on uh, in terms of uh yeah, cool weather at all we have a heat wave right here going on across the south you can see it's just expanding sending uh the uh, sending the heat and rising and then spinning across this area all uh, high pressure spin uh, clockwise and you could see that you could see that uh, this is why we have this giant feature you know it's this rather small feature but it's producing a lot of rain and a lot of severe weather across this portion of the country so this uh, this high pressure what it basically does it uh, you can see that it's centered right here and it just sends everything around it uh, everything that tries getting into the area of the high pressure it just gets deflected right away so notice how we have a feature right here right here and right here and if we put this into motion uh, say our hour 12 you could see how this moves across and does not really um, penetrate into the south it kind of just stays up to the north and it starts taking a path more further to the south into Indiana and Ohio but that then you can see it, it sticks on to the northeast and almost develops like a front like a frontal boundary this is across Wednesday and we do see a uh, a cooler mass of air you could see a high pressure low pressure over there and this will bring in some chillier conditions across much of the Midwest from around the 14th through around the 16th 17th you know but then it'll start warming up back up uh, into more of a warm pattern but doesn't seem too awfully hot but uh, you know obviously this is still very 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 warm as of now and this is kind of like a typical ring of fire pattern and I hope you understand at this point what this is basically so I already drew it out here but <clears throat> wherever a heat wave sets up there's usually a high pressure associated with it and that is usually the proponent or the propeller of all the heat all high pressure spill uh, spin uh, clockwise and it's just depending on how strong it is you can see usually it just sends out these uh, you know it's strong winds across this area and while it does so it's really hot in these areas it gets really hot across these this is not you know uh, it's not forecasted to be across this specific area I'm just drawing out a high pressure to show you demonstrate what the ring of fire pattern is and it always sends thunderstorms to the north or to the south and it's kind of like it's basically like a spinning cycle until this high pressure either breaks down or gets shoved aside by a strong low pressure or another high so uh, if we were to look at this uh, you could see this in, a, in taking shape in the south and that's why the southeast has not been seeing much rain but it will finally break down across uh, the south on Wednesday and Thursday and you can see a little bit of rain with that cold front uh, basically this uh, the low is right here and it's dragging a cold front right across here and it kind of just stays there for quite a while and it could produce uh, quite a bit of rain for the southeast notice how it kind of lags out there but then we start seeing another uh, another warming pattern starting to take shape uh, which could uh, affect a lot of these uh, areas and notice how kind of the air masses are clashing this is why it's leading to this uh, to this very quick developing uh, <clears throat> rain band right here and it kind of just it's like a highway look at it it moves so quickly and just gets sent quickly up there look the low pressures right here and that's the reason for that is the Bermuda high and a couple of other highs right here are uh, are centered here and they're just sending the winds like this there's a low pressure right here several actually of them and they are 
it's spinning counterclockwise, setting the winds like this, and it's basically just a quick highway for the storms. So that's kind of another interesting feature I'd like to point out. But let's go to the temperature anomalies quickly, and let's look at <clears throat> what's to come in terms of the temperatures. So let's go to our zero, and let's take this one by one. I apologize, this is taking kind of a long time to load. This is unfortunately uh, to do with my Wi-Fi. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of uh, slow to say the very least so and it's actually acting ridiculously slow right now uh, let's try putting this into motion uh, it's not really loading we have one minute image <laughs> okay so this is uh this is not what i wanted to uh happen but uh hopefully we'll start loading soon so let's start at hour zero and you can see that this uh it's generally warm you can see this is during the uh the war nighttime hours nighttime hours it's gonna be actually fairly above average but the weird thing i want to point out is <clears throat> that during the daytime you could see look it's it's much cooler and it usually average out averages out to about average when the nights are warmer and the days are cooler and this is what just happens during the summer sometimes we could have a uh, cloud cover during the day and that just brings you could see a cap on or on uh, the two three o'clock hour but then during the night when it's gone you could see it's kind of the cool air releases itself but notice how it's still very warm across the south and this is basically leading to temperatures being in the hundreds and hundred tens for those areas and if hopefully this could load i mean frick this is not loading okay i wanted to demonstrate to you and show you the six to ten day outlook uh show you this is kind of like a long range by the way and you can see that a lot of warm areas going to be a lot of warm uh temperatures are going to be across this time frame from the 17th through the 21 uh, and uh, you could see it pretty dry as well across the center part of the country the 8 to 14 day outlook if we were to look at it also pretty warm across much of the country <clears throat> i would say they're a little bit over exaggerating this i don't think it's going to be you know this warm but they're saying pretty high confidence for quite a bit of warmth so a very interesting uh, pattern and why is this not loading this is actually getting me really frustrated i apologize <clears throat> hopefully this could load sometime you know that would be pretty nice uh, you know load the rest but let's just start at our um so right now let's just start at our like 18 right now we're seeing a high pressure again we were seeing that uh, that uh, heat wave across the south now however we're, we're seeing a cool blast of air again from around the 14 13 to around the 16 17 notice how it's cooler during the days uh, this will bring 70s and 80s for much of the country or at least the midwest and parts of the northeast i want to point out something as well that's pretty interesting to me uh, notice how there's like these weird blotches of cool um these cool blue blotches of temperatures these cool blotches or blue blotches that mean cool temperatures and this is basically the thunderstorms and uh they will be developing around the front and you can see they're blowing up tapping into that cold air up aloft and they're bringing it down to the surface which is why the two meter temperature anomaly reflects that those cooler temperatures and you can see if we were to go forward around the 16th 17th still a little bit chillier but then it starts kind of dissipating we start seeing warm temperatures across the west really warm temperatures across the west and now we start seeing uh, temperatures really warm temperatures across the rest of the country i mean look the north the northwest maybe a little bit of the east being a little bit saved from this but basically at this point it seems a lot of the portion of the country will be above average i don't think it'll be you know ridiculous um heat but it seems as if it'll be pretty warm so uh yeah there definitely is uh, a some sort of heat wave going on to a certain extent and again this is not loading so i apologize this video is a little bit uh, disorganized but basically what I wanted you to know is that as of now there, there's a heat wave going on and that will cool off for from around the 14th through the 16th and then after that we could be looking at warmer temperatures yet again and you can see that this is basically indicated by uh, this uh, this weather map weather radiation map and again the high pressure located let me draw that better uh, no I want to keep recording so let's go to the high uh, let's go to the drying mode high pressure some right there you can see all of these areas are in a warm they have heat advisories because it's very warm this will get pushed out by a cooler blast of air and notice how there's flood warnings all across these areas river flood warnings that's because with that ring of fire pattern uh, we see uh, we see those storms getting pushed in north and they just repeat one after the other one after the other one after the other one after the other and you get the point you just you can see flooding across the chicago and northern indiana weather so i know i have a subscriber named oh larry m i think larry uh it looks as if northern indiana will 
will be seeing some uh, some rain for once so you will be most likely in uh, you can see you have a hydraulic outlook right now so that means really heavy potential rain across your area along with northern Illinois and southwest Michigan and eastern and western Ohio and it seems as if uh, again this uh, ring of fire will get dissipated though after a couple of days of maintaining itself and I'm sorry tropical tidbits refuses to work with me today so uh, you know uh, you can see but afterwards I mean a fairly warm pattern going on and uh, that's what it seems to be uh, the trend and you can see it's just a very uh, very dynamic pattern with maybe a couple cool offs here and there but no big uh, you know no big uh, extremes of cold or even heat I mean yeah it'll be above average but um, we'll just have to wait and see how this all plays out so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode see ya bye